Hello, my name is Gavin Modi. I'm currently employed at St. Michael Hospital as the manager of the quality program. Uh, I'm pleased to be here today uh, to share my experience uh, in East Africa, Tanzania, implementing quality program uh, and how we achieved uh, success uh, in this resource restrained country. It was in 2009, on 23rd of December, uh, I received an email um, inviting me to serve as a mentor uh, for uh, East Africa, Tanzania. My role was certainly as a mentor uh, to use the expertise that I acquired over the years. Here in Ontario uh, and with QMPLS and also Ontario Laboratory Accreditation Program, and to really to make sure that all of the tools, techniques, templates that are used uh, certainly improve the diagnostic capabilities of the laboratories to meet ISO 15189. Of course, the role is not really to do the work for them, but rather guide them with my expertise, let them take the lead. But I would serve as a resource person and constantly guide them, direct them, so that eventually they take on themselves. It's, it was initiated by George Bush in 2003. It was the largest effort ever made by any country um, uh, to combat uh, HIV as a single disease. Uh, today, or it was last year, 2010, uh, this program has expanded to go into more focused into prevention and the care and also ensuring the sustainability of, of uh, uh, the prevention program uh, for these country, resource restrained countries. The quality management system has always been there. Maybe it's not been understood the way we understand right now. Uh, or by way of 12 QSCs from CLSI. Quality management system does mean that ensuring the process that are established meet the quality standards. Of course, they don't have all the resources, but they have labs, they have equipment, they do some quality control, they have staff who perform tests. Personally speaking, I had my training uh, way back 40 years ago, so uh, again the setup reminded me of going back to 40 years and, and of course in those days also we did testing. We had a quality control program, we had uh, laboratory equipment. So here we had to simply take an inventory of what is being done and how could we enhance it to meet ISO 15189 standards. My work that was done last year, um, CDC Centers for Disease Control staff went back last year in October after I came back. They also assessed the laboratory in terms of what I had done. And they found that, that the laboratory had achieved 70% of uh, compliance with the ISO 15189 standards. So this huge success um, they kind of were really, really excited. All the staff were just overjoyed. The CDC staff also were also impressed by the performance. Normally, it takes about five years. So I think I'm very pleased it's just only in second year uh, that we will be able to complete it. And then this particular lab that I was assigned last year, um, they want to be number one in Tanzania. So. Uh, certainly now, as you could see, there's an energy, there's an enthusiasm. So now I think, now I basically have to sit back and, and just advise them, guide them, keep uh, motivating them, uh, find ways to, to meet ISO 15189. Because it is a valuable life experience. It is not so much in terms of um, doing high level professional stuff but in going into this into the culture and the type of settings 
and, and really understanding how things are being done and how the t diseases are being treated. So I found out, I found that certainly I think gaining that useful experience working with those people and then really uh, getting to know them, connecting with them, the culture, the religion, the music, also the other aspects of the, 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 the geographic region that you are into. Um, it certainly brings a valuable experience to, uh, to you.